mm, mm, mm. What a nice pass and nice hits that girl has. Let's check out our fighter stats. We got a good one for you tonight, folks. TJ Cummings versus Daniel Hunter. TJ Cummings fighting out of Steroid, California. He's a wrestler coming in at 6'2", 215 pounds. He'll be fighting Daniel Hunter, who's a brawler from the Deep South with four years military experience. He's giving up a lot of weight to TJ Cummings. Let's see how he does tonight. The rules for the grappling round encourage non-stop action. The fighters will be awarded one point for takedowns, like single legs, double legs, or slams. The fighters get two points for submissions, like triangle chokes, guillotine chokes, and arm bars. If a fighter is hurt from an illegal technique and he cannot continue, his opponent forfeits the round. And now back to Mr. Muss. All right, fighters, are we ready? TJ, you ready? <laughs> Daniel, you ready? Let's bang. Look at TJ Cummings. God, man, you think he's been spending some time with Barry Barnes and Mark McGuire. Daniel Hunter's definitely given up a few pounds to TJ. Let's see how he does. He's got him in a front guillotine and flip over, back off the cage. Daniel looked like he was going to break his neck right there, and Daniel taps out. It looked like Daniel tapped twice, but I don't think the ref caught it. Mr. Must stands him back up, and we'll get ready for some more action here. Somebody should tell TJ Cummings you're supposed to work out with the weights, not eat them. Here we go. Oh, wait, before he goes back to four, is that a needle sticking out of TJ's ass in the back? There we go, they're locking up. Daniel Hunter, he's a Marine also, folks. And he just gets picked up and slammed down by TJ Cummings. And that's why you do collar ties. So you don't get slammed like a little ragdoll monkey. That's a big boy right there. There you go. Look at Daniel Hunter come up in the back of TJ Cummings, lock him up, tap him out with a rear chokehold. The little guy takes Roy Boy down. That was beautiful. He got the arm first, went for control, and then he got the submission. I'm going to tap that bitch out, too. The spirit of America, man. From the deep south, Daniel Hunter showing us what the Marines got. He's given up some weight, but he's definitely got the tenacity to fight this big guy. There we go. They're locking it up again. Trying to call her up. He's a little big for Daniel to call her up on. Daniel grabs hold of his head. The headlock standing up. This doesn't look good for leverage. And he goes down awkward. I thought TJ was going to slam him, and he fell down himself. Watch how he passes from half guard right into full guard. Now he's in a full mount. Watch how he goes from half mount into full mount. Daniel does a textbook again. He was trying, but gave up on a head and arm choke. TJ is definitely stronger than Daniel, but Daniel's definitely got more skills than he has. Good. Good. Now he switches over to a half side mount. TJ's pushing him off. Daniel's going to side control, which was a mistake. Pretty much just a battle of strength right here. Here comes TJ trying to roll his way out of that headlock. That's a lot of muscle to hold, and he's got the strength to push his way out of it. Now he goes into side mount, over into full mount. TJ trying to get into a full mount on top of Daniel, and he's got it. Let's see what he can do with this here. Daniel's a pretty wiry little guy. He pushes off. Oh, arm bar by TJ. Can he get it on there? Daniel's fighting back on it. Beautiful defense. Daniel locking his hands, hooking the foot around TJ's face. Nice defense. Nice. That was beautiful textbook defense. Daniel giving the big boy a nice run for his money here. They stand it back up and get going again. Round one's full of action tonight, folks. I think TJ Cummings is shocked by Daniel's strength and moves. Way to hang on. It looked like TJ was going to slam Daniel Hunter, but Daniel just hung on to his head and came down with him. Half butterfly, half full guard broken by TJ. Looks like he was trying an inverted triangle, but broke free. This Daniel's got some great grappling skills, giving the big man a run for his money here. Now TJ's in a side control. He got a mouthpiece on the floor there. He's trying an inverted triangle, but it wouldn't stick. I am really pleasantly surprised by Daniel Hunter's strength.
round one. Wow, what a fight. And the final score of round one is eight to seven. The rules for the striking round encourage aggressiveness. Fighters get points for clean power shots. Kicks and punches to the head or body. Knees, elbows, and headbutts are not allowed. If a fighter is knocked down and cannot continue, his opponent will be awarded the win. In the event there is no knockout, the fighter with the most points wins the round. And now back to Mr. Muss. Look at this guy. Jeez, oh my, oh my. He must have had a punch score workout set and still hasn't given it up yet. That's right, let's bang. Round two, Battle Bank, TJ Cummings, Daniel Hunter. Let's see if the boy from the South's got something for the big guy. Nice, Daniel comes out with a leg kick. Look at the size of TJ. Nice right to the head, beautiful by Daniel Hunter. Daniel's like a little sniper, that Marine. Big TJ comes in with some blocks on him. Good sportsmanship tagging up. I like these boys. Good fighters. He's like almost nowhere to hit this TJ guy. But Daniel seems to keep fighting some holes. Fighting like little girls. I could get in there and kick both their asses. That's how bad they're sucking right now. He's got to straighten out the headgear because he's got a big head. Kind of reminds me of Seth Dickens a little bit with the size of his cranium. Nice one-two by TJ. Uh, Daniel seems to be putting his counters together really well. Counted with a leg kick by Daniel. They're both trading little punches and stuff for him. Overhead, <laughs> he misses Daniel by about four inches due to Daniel's height. The little guy snapping the punch in the right. He's giving up about 30 pounds, and he's pretty quick. I like this Daniel Hunter from the south. He talks kind of funny. Oh, that was a slip. That was a slip. They go back up and start it. Mr. Muss, our referee, doing a great job out there. Oh, Daniel takes one right off TJ. Landing the right, coming back. Yeah, nice combo by TJ. He punishes Daniel for leaving his head up. TJ's punches aren't crisp, but they're effective. He lands a leg kick, but it doesn't count for points. Cute little pad up bitches is what they are. Oh, sets him up with the left and hits him with the right. If Daniel moves his head a little better, he get a lot more counters. Oh, he missed with an overhead brick shot. There you go, Daniel with a nice right. There you go. Nice counter punching. Oh, Daniel connects on it. Big boy comes back in. Daniel trying to line up TJ for the big shot. Ends up turning around and pays the price with a right to the head from TJ Cummins. You got to set those shots up and not spin around. This kid, Daniel Hunter, man, what's some heart he's got. There you go. TJ's really aggressive in coming at Daniel. I don't think he's scared of Daniel's punches, but Daniel's definitely connecting. He just connects again with the left. Daniel lands a nice left right off TJ's face. Oh, and he takes two hard shots. Oh, nice right by Daniel Hunter. Overhand catches his arm and doesn't connect all the way. Both fighters trading punches like crazy. As they go down to the last seconds of this fight, they're just slugging it out here. Swing it up, Daniel misses with the overhand right. And that's the fight, folks. Mm, I wonder who won. He's going to need some comfort because when it comes to me, I only give out tough love. What a great show by both fighters here tonight. And good sportsmanship, guys. That's the way it should be done. TJ Cummings, 15 points. Daniel Hunter, 12 points. After totaling up round one and round two, the final decision from the judge goes to...